Oh, yeah, I've got everybody in and I think we've successfully hit record, which is awesome. Um, I think we're all good to go. Awesome job. Welcome, everybody, um, to my information event this evening. I'm super excited and I'm a tiny little tad nervous to be hosting my first event tonight, but I'm really thrilled um, to obviously share with you something that's truly changed um, not only my life, but my family's lives and that of many other women and men and families as well. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Erin. Um, I'm a Melbourne-based mum of three very, very crazy boys, um, including a set of twins who are going to be four next month. Um, and I've got a very independent and headstrong six-year-old um, and a husband who actually works in hospitality. So as you can probably imagine, it's a pretty crazy household. Um, as some of you might um, be here tonight to support some of our speakers, and we thank you so much for that. Um, obviously, taking the time out means the world to a lot of us. Um, some of you might be here to learn a bit more about our program and our products and our nutritional support, and some of you've got a bit of a niggly flame, um, much like I had to obviously um, build something more for your life and um, grow into a bigger community and see if that's something there for you. So. Lucky for you guys, we're actually going to cover all of that over the next sort of 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so tonight I'm here with some of our partners um, and I have to thank them um, first and foremost for joining me tonight to share a bit more with you guys about what we do in our community um, and to run through some of the, um, the impact that we're having through health and wellness and mindset. Um, we um, love being able to create a bit more flexibility and freedom and purpose um, through new age businesses um, that we can obviously run in our homes at the moment. So I'm sort of stepping out of my comfort zone tonight um, to, you know, jump online and have a bit of a chat with you. So I'll take a big deep breath <laughs> and I'll find a little bit of courage at the moment um, and tell you that it really wasn't so long ago that I'd been feeling really lost in my life um, as a woman, as a mother and as um, a wife as well. Um, I've been really blessed to be a stay-at-home mum for about six and a half years now and not a lot of people have the opportunity to be able to do that um, and I absolutely love being at home with my kids and I love having the freedom of choice to be able to do that but my twins are looking at starting school in the next couple of years and that led me to think um, what's sort of next on the agenda for me. Um, I was looking at going back to full-time work and the prospect of having somebody else dictate my hours um, you know, the job that I was going to be doing, the wage that I was going to be earning was a really daunting um, prospect for me. And I really didn't like the thought of that. So um, that sort of left me pondering what else I was going to be able to do. Um, now, obviously, that can be quite an anxious thing um, for a lot of people. Um, so I'm, I'm quite lucky that this really came into my life when it did. Um, so first, um, we'd obviously love to tell you a bit more about the health and wellness side of our community. Um, and I'll tell you a bit more about my story later tonight, but I've actually got some really epic people that I've asked to share um, on our event tonight that have had some absolutely beautiful and amazing results. Um, and they've been able to ignite their passion for life again. Um, <laughs> and obviously, um, you know, expandable a bit more in their um, sort of business side of things as well. So we're going to go across, um, across a few different sectors tonight, across the program and the products themselves and across the actual business side of things um, on that side of things too. So first I want to talk a little bit more about um, the business side of things. So as you guys would be aware, um, behind any great business, there is usually an awesome product or a service that comes along with that. Um, I might be a little bit biased on this side of things, but I feel really fortunate um, to be a part of an industry that's never going out of fashion. And for us, that's our health and well-being. And it's so prevalent today's to today's, um, you know, time frame and where we're obviously sitting in our lives at the moment. It's never been needed more. Um, and it definitely came into my life basically when I needed it to as well. Um, 
so our business partners um, obviously help, in, help inspire healthy living um, around the world. And we do that through our beautiful Naked Health program that you would have seen us promoting online before. And that helps us guide us through all of the facets um, of health and wellness um, through this sector. Now, luckily, we're backed by a awesome nutritional support program um, and products called Juice Plus. Now, our Naked Health program itself um, basically teaches us to strip back um, to basics when it comes to our health. Um, we inspire and help create healthy habits for people within their homes um, and teach basics of whole food eating and clean eating. Um, so we do this through things like meal plans, um, through recipe guides, through our express 15 minute workouts, through life coaching, mentor coaching, um, you know, we've got some amazing people that help support us through these um, programs. Um, and luckily for me, we actually have this awesome program that has now just been launched recently that goes into um, our mindful menopause as well, which is absolutely amazing. So basically, we've got everything to cover all of the bases for everyone, which is incredible. Um, we also help accelerate these results through our, um, our body and our nutrition with the support of our Juice Plus products, which kind of work hand in hand with our program as well. Um, so our, our nutrition um, partner, Juice Plus, they've been around for about 50 years and they help families bridge the gap between what we should be eating and what we're not currently eating at the moment. Um, and I love these products because they've stood the test of time and they're well tested, um, obviously over the years. Um, our signature products actually include a whole food range. So we've got a couple of these ones here to show you. So these are our, um, our, our basically our core range. So they consist of our fruit, our veggie and our berry capsules. Um, these products essentially allow us to fuel our bodies with um, over 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries within a, a vegan capsule form every single day. So basically we flood our bodies with absolutely everything that we need from the start of the day. I take these first thing in the morning and I know by the end of the day, I've actually taken everything I need just basically before breakfast. We also have this little gem here. This is our vegan omega, and this contains five different sorts of omegas. Um, the best part about these and I don't know if you're anything like me, but there's no fishy aftertaste with these. So I've taken omegas before and I hate that fishy aftertaste that you get. These don't actually contain that. So we actually get our omegas from basically the food that our fish eat, not from the fish themselves, which is epic. So they're vegan and plant-based. Um, for my kids, and like I said before, I have three boys who can be picky with what they're eating. We have these little goodies. So these are our kids' fruit and vegetable chews. Um, my kids take these every single day. And I love the fact of knowing that my kids are getting absolutely everything that they need in their diet, basically just from these little chews. Um, they're great at their eating, but I know that if they're having an off day, as we all know kids can actually do, that they're still obviously fueling their bodies to be able to um, grow and obviously become big and strong little boys. And the last thing that we have, which I actually love, is our vegan-based complete protein. So it comes in two flavors. We have our vanilla and we have our chocolate. I'm a bit of a chocolate lover. Um, we also have those in the bulk packs and sachets. So our products are so versatile and cover the range for absolutely everybody from those busy people that can obviously just chuck a sachet in their bag or for like me, um, and you've got kids that go through the bulk packs pretty quickly. You can just scoop them out and chuck them into your smoothies. And they're amazing. So they're completely um, based from um, superfoods. So for those of you who don't know what your main superfoods are and things like that, it contains of things like chickpeas, ancient grains, sprouts, radish, quinoa, and so many other goodies in there. Um, so basically these products are put together to be um, convenient. And they're a way of knowing that we're obviously getting everything into our diets that we need on a daily basis without having to obviously you know, go into some crazy shop and buy something, you know, off the shelf. So what I love about these as well is that they are pesticide, they're herbicide, and they're toxin-free, they're gluten-free, they're non-GMO, 
and they basically just popped into a capsule or into the packet um, for, for ease of use every single day. So I truly love knowing that these products are safe for not just myself, but for my whole family um, from people any age range. Um, and they're also completely safe for our pregnant and breastfeeding mums as well, which is pretty amazing these days. So with all of that confusion around the market with health and what works and doesn't work, we pride ourselves on being able to take that confusion out of our products and stripping back to basics, um, basically with, you know, our ease of products um, and the community and the abundance that we have within our community as well. So um, our business partners not only enjoy um, the community for themselves um, and obviously the support that comes with that and the systems, sorry, I'm losing my voice now, <coughs> and the systems that we have in place, but we also have this amazing vehicle that comes out of it as well for those people that do, you know, want to create this into something better on top of being able to make themselves healthy um, and impact people um, as well. So with that being said, I actually want to start to introduce some of our amazing people that we have on here tonight. And I want to thank them so much for jumping on and having a bit of a chat with us this evening. Um, so um, our first speaker tonight that I've actually invited is a couple. It's not an individual. And the reason why I invited these guys on tonight was because they've had some pretty epic results on our program. Um, but I'm going to let them tell you all about that. So if Vicky and Kane would love to come off mute, I'm just going to ping you guys. And Hi. hopefully this works as my first little, um, there we go. I think I can spotlight you. Remove all configures. Okay. Ah, there That's we are. Us. You did good. <laughs> I think I've got you. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Thanks for jumping on tonight. Tell us a little bit more about why you guys joined the Naked Health Challenge program and what you're loving about it. We can do that. First of all, um, who won the Formula One last night? I fell asleep and I know you're a massive fan. So did you stay up? What happened? Oh, do you know what? It was a late night last night, Kane. I did stay up and I will tell you it was Max Verstappen. Oh, so you're a happy girl. Oh, very good. Happy girl. Um, we rock, paper, scissors and Vicky lost. So I get to talk through change, um, <laughs> which is rare in our household. Um, Kirsty will probably disagree with that. But um, I'm Kane and this is Vicky. Um, she's my wife most of the time. Um, <laughs> and we have two beautiful boys. One's asleep and hopefully the other one's heading off to sleep. as well. So we're based in Melbourne as well um, and had a pretty average time last year, I think. Um, like most, most people, people did, did. <laughs> um, with the lockdowns, uh, being parents uh, in that sort of climate. And um, look, we were, I wouldn't call us yo-yo dieters. Um, we liked food and cheeses and things. And then we got engaged. So we Never decided right. <laughs> that we'd not like food and cheese. And then we had a little bit of time before the wedding. So we liked food and cheese again. And then we decided, we, <laughs> obviously, the wedding was coming up. So we did another different program. And, and look, we had really good results on some of these things that we did, but they were like a means to an end. And I'm sure there's other people out there that can relate to that where they've got on a program and um, I love my wife. And I'm not just saying that because she's sitting next to me, but there's only so many ways you can cook chicken and broccoli. <laughs> um, and there's like, she was like throwing chili at this just to try and give it some flavor by the end of it. So um, we both knew that we could lose weight. We both knew we could stick to a plan for a means to an end thing, but we'd never ever found anything that stuck. Um, and that's, I guess, what we were really looking for. So um, I was, um, as Vicky would call it, I was FOMO'd into this. Um, it's something she stumbled across through a good friend of ours who's on the call tonight as well. And um, she'd seen a friend of hers who was having this epic health journey and, and someone that we knew to be like a happy, bubbly, um, out there, every, like really loud and proud kind of girl, um, doing a bit of a tough time and, and then bouncing back from that. And, and Vic was going through the same thing, which was, for me, was hard to watch. So um she reached out um and and signed up and, and got us on board as i guess is a 
someone who wanted to make a change to her health and wellness and, and her general well-being, and I just got fumbled into it. Um, anyone out there who's got kids, it's a lot easier to cook one meal rather than two, three or four. Um, and we've got fussy eaters. We've got a two-year-old and an eight-year-old. Um, two-year-old, as you learn, and anyone who's got two kids realises that the second one just gets what they give in. The first one, you kind of cave a little bit easier. So um, the first one's a bit fussier, but for us, it was all about finding something that worked for the whole family. Um, I guess I think it was probably, I joined maybe a week after you because we were eating the same foods. And I think a couple of weeks in, uh, the first week, six-week challenge came up and we just thought we'd embrace it, we'd get amongst it and we'd make some lifestyle changes. Um, we had such good results in that six week challenge. Um, but I think the, the weight, and we'll talk about that in a second, the weight that came off um, was second to the fact of the ease of it. Um, the cooking was easy. The flavors were great. We, we really enjoyed what we were eating and it's become a lifestyle thing for us. So um, I actually lost 16 kilos in the first challenge um, and Vic lost, I think, I think we'd- Nearly eight. Nearly eight. Mm. Let's call it eight. We'll round we'll up. Go eight. Swedish <laughs> rounding. We're going to go Swedish rounding like the supermarkets. Um, so 24 kilos in six weeks between the two of us. But we also noticed some massive changes in the things. So we were both sleeping better. Um, we were better parents, I think. Yeah, we were more, um, I think, calm and patient and present with With, with the, the kids at yeah. least. Yeah, maybe not with each other, but look, that's, <laughs> we're working on that. Um, but no, it really, and I really noticed that. I'm a tradie, so I'm up early. I wasn't like going straight to the coffee. I was waking up a bit fresher. I don't know if anyone else gets up early on the call, but like I used to drive to work and I'd get there and just completely not remember the trip or the drive. And I don't know whether I went through red lights or what happened <laughs> on the journey. Um, but it was, I was up and I was about, um, I slept a lot better. My indigestion completely disappeared. Um, I know Vic's skin cleared up a yeah. heap and that was probably a combination of just the whole food diet and obviously the products that Erin was just talking about as well. Um, the weight loss has been great, but to be honest, we already knew we could lose weight and I think we touched on that with the other yo-yo diets, but for us, this has been a lifestyle thing. Um, since continuing on since like Jan, early February, when we started, we're over 40 kilos down between the two of us. Um, and it's just become really, really easy. Mm. Um, we've sort of fight over what we're going to cook and who's going to cook. And we've got our favorites, but we still haven't tried everything um, yeah, in the Naked Health Challenge as well, which has been really cool. So yeah. I don't know if there's anything you want to add. No, nah, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I think he's covered most of it. I thought I'd let him speak for a change. I normally always get to go first. So, um, but no, the, as, as Kay mentioned, obviously the, um, the physical transformations have been pretty epic. Um, and I didn't think that we had that much to lose, but when you actually, um, I'm a big person for photos and measurements. And when you actually look back on on those things, not just the numbers. Um, it's pretty incredible the transformation we've had, um, but not just the physical, the, the mental transformation has been pretty epic as well. So um, one of the big um, drivers for me to, to do something about my health at the start of this year, as Kay mentioned, last year was pretty crappy. Um, so I knew I had to do something for my mental health to sort of pull me out of a bit of a funk and, and really take ownership over my own, my own health again. Um, and the mindset training, meditation, um, even the breath work for anxiety and stress. I've used that today, actually. <laughs> um, it's just taught me so much. I've got so many different tools in my tool belt now that when I am, especially at the moment, um, being here in Melbourne, we're still going through lockdowns that I can then call on these resources to get me through. And if if you had have seen me this time last year and you had have mentioned sort of lockdowns or all those sort of things, I probably would have fallen into a heap and I'm not going to lie and say that it's been smooth sailing this time. It hasn't. I've had my moments, but the difference is I've recovered so much quickly when I have gone into a little bit of a funk. I've been able to pull myself back out of it. Um, and it's because of all these things that I've learned through this program that have, have sort of got me to where I am. And yeah, I'm proud of both of us. Oh, so that. yeah. <laughs> My Thank reasons you. were completely different though. Like I just wanted to look good naked. So oh. <laughs> um, Okay. And on that note, we um we hand back to Erin now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that so much, guys. Oh, you crack me up. I'm just going to um get myself back here. I think that works. Oh, there we go. I think we've got us back here. Oh, I just it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy listening to you guys and how much 
this program and the products have impacted your lives so much and how much it's helping you guys with your kids as well. Um, and that's obviously why I, I love this program as well is that it's, it's not just for us as individuals, it's for, you know, complete family packages as well, which is just absolutely epic. So thank you so much for sharing tonight, guys, and congratulations on your results. It's absolutely amazing to see how far you guys have come in such a short amount of time. It's just amazing. Um, what I wanted to touch on next is a little bit more about um, our business side of things. So we have a couple of different options as far as what our ambassadors and our business partners actually do. And basically they share and refer our program and our products um, to inspire others um, to be able to get healthier. Um, and when they do that, they can make an impact obviously and create an income for themselves as well. So um, with that being said, I'm a little bit more excited to um, invite Tamara to have a bit of a chat tonight. I'm really excited to have a bit of a chat with Tamara and um, listen to her story and get her to share a little bit more about her um, reason as to why she said yes to this opportunity. Um, and then we actually get to have a bit of a chat with my personal mentor in this business who um, brought me in and got me to say yes. And I'm so thankful for that. So I'm going to pass over to Tamara first, who I'm really excited to hear your story. If you want to come off mute. Hi, Erin. Thank you for having uh, me. Hi. Uh, Vicky going. and Kane, your um, story was gorgeous. And I guess I can relate to so much of it um, from the naked, naked Health Challenge side of it. But for those of you that don't know me, I'm Tamara. And my friends call me Mari. And I, I'll tell you a little bit about me and set the scene maybe for you. So I'm a corporate mum. I am. I work for a national, Australia-wide not-for-profit. And so I guess I take a lot of, I hold a lot of value in doing work that gives back to the most vulnerable people in the community. It's what I love. So at my corporate job, I teach people to see, service and solve problems in a nutshell. So rewind to last year and I was, you know, I, I work four days a week. I have two beautiful children, Jack, who's 12, and Harlow, who's nine. And I was homeschooling, which I never, ever wanted to be a teacher. So I still struggle with the homeschooling thing and balancing in that with the corporate gig where I'm managing, you know, 10 adults at any one time and multiple projects. So I was kind of burning the candle at not just both ends, but I think in the middle and cutting it in parts to burn more of it all at the same time. It was like that literally I was that hamster on a wheel going round and round and round. And I had been watching some, you know, other people's journeys on the socials. And I guess one day, you know, they kind of did a bit of a, I guess you'd call it a call to arms and say, you know, we've got room to mentor someone. And I, I reached out to find out a little bit more. I'm like, what is it like that? always glowing and they look happy and I you know was at a point where I was like yeah I need to make some changes need to make some changes so I guess once I started learning a little bit more about what it all is for me this has been an overall reset button so yes I'm still a corporate mum I do this as my passion project side hustle squeezed into 15 minute increments of my you know, I'd love to say nine to five, but like eight to six day and maybe probably seven till 10 when you're homeschooling as well. And I still squeeze it in, but I guess I get so much joy, genuine joy from helping other people reach their potential. And that's one of the biggest things that made me say, yes, I love um, working with, you know, people with a disability, not that I, I'm not a carer, so I can't take that credit. But this way I get to help other mums like me potentially find this opportunity when their babies are way younger than mine and not be caught in that hamster on a wheel cycle going round and round and round 100 miles an hour and um, I think you've all probably heard of that thing that we love to call balance and you know as a I'll, I'll say a full-time working mum there really is no such thing you've got five balls in the air 84 balls on the floor and three balls that you left somewhere back at the park like I don't know how else to summarize it there's summarize it but not only have I guess I benefited from doing the naked health challenge I've done too now and my results have been fantastic um my mindset so the training you get you know just by being an ambassador and helping other people enrich their lives what you get back is by far greater than just profit in the bank you meet a community of women that you can and men like Kane um, who you can lean into on your days like today would just you know today was not my day but 
if it's not your day, the best thing you can do is surround yourself by people who are having that good day and their light becomes yours for a little bit. And it's nice having someone who won't share in your doom and gloom, but they'll share in, you know, how well they're doing. So the community, the opportunity to help other families just live a better life, it's that that really makes you, you know, or made me say yes. Yeah. Um, I guess that's kind of my yes in a nutshell. I've got a couple little team, not little, that's a terrible word to use. Don't mean that in a belittling, in a belittling way. I have a couple of women that have joined on alongside me and for their own personal reasons, some of them have just joined on to access the product. Um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful opportunity. It really is. Erin, um, would you like me to hand back to you or over to Kirsty? Over to Kirsty. Kirsty is also my mentor as well. So Kirsty's a busy girl. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Oh, so lovely to listen to all of your stories. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kirsty Chumbly, also a Melbourne-based mum living in lockdown. <laughs> um, so I am, yeah, my little man is two years old and like, like everyone actually who has spoken just before me, um, I actually also found this opportunity and joined this community in the middle of lockdown. Um, so if I was to rewind um, about nine, 10 months ago, I, you know, my little man was just over one. It, I had reached that sort of 12 month mark of, um, you know, maternity leave um, and I really reached a point where you know for the first year of being a mum it was amazing and I you know I remember saying um, over and over I was born for this I was born for this this is the greatest job ever um, and then I absolutely reached a point where I was so lost I was so lost as a mum I was really lost as a woman because before I had my son, um, I had another business. So I've always come from a corporate background, just like Mari, I really relate a lot to your story and um, had my own business for just shy of 10 years. And in the time that I had that business, um, I owned a direct marketing company, um, coached and led many, many sales teams, built many businesses. Um, and it was incredible for a very long time, but, um, and I did have a very successful business, but the success meant sacrifice and I was trading time for money. So for me, um, what that meant was that for me to grow my business and to create success, it required me to be, you know, I, I was working 60, 70, sometimes 80 hour weeks. I was out the door when it was dark. I was home when it was dark. Um, for me, you know, having a business, what it looked like was that I'd have this time freedom and this flexibility, but it was far from that. I couldn't go on holidays because when I went away, my business would fall apart. Um, you know, when I would take time off, I would be on the phone the entire time trying to keep things afloat. So it was, um, it was detriment. Something had to give. And after 10 years, um, I, I was suffering, um, you know, I was exhausted. My mental health was suffering. Um, I was tired, burnt out. Um, and it was the kind of business that was very male dominated coming from the corporate world. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. And I used to feel like I used to put on the power suit and walk into the office every day and put on this game face and, you know, leave everything at the door and show up. And every time, you know, I have to have the smile on my face the whole time. And although I am a very positive person. Um, not being able to be vulnerable and real and show that in that environment meant that I was I was compressing it and my mental health wasn't coping with that. So I did reach a point where I just totally broke um, as a woman and I closed that business, obviously, you know, left that industry, went on to become a mum, and it was amazing. But what happened was I reached this point where I was ready to do something I always wanted to work for myself again. I knew I wanted to have another business. Um, I absolutely wanted to, you know, work for myself and have that 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 freedom once I became a mum. But having not been in the workplace for a long time, being at home with my little man, and then lockdown hit, and obviously, you know, we can all relate to the daily struggles and the anxiety that you know that comes with all of that. 
um, I felt really overwhelmed and I didn't know where to start. So the idea of doing something new was really overwhelming. I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know how to find clients. Um, and it just all became a little bit too much. So I was absolutely at a breaking point. Um, and I had seen just like a lot of, you know, the women have shared tonight. Um, I had seen other people doing this on social media and I had seen, and I'd been following along, um, other women who were, you know, who looked like they were happy. They were successful. They were talking about time, freedom, community, all of these things that I was seriously craving, but I was very much like, what is this? Like, is this real? They all look so successful, but that's not what success looked like to me when I had my own business. Like I was burnt out and I was exhausted. I was not glowing and I was not thriving. Um, so I absolutely lent in. And when, when I learned about what this, you know, how this business worked and that it was literally a global business in a box that you could plug into work from anywhere, learn a blueprint system, be trained, supported and taught literally how to create an income working from home. Um, it made a lot of sense to me. I thought, what have I got to lose? I, you know, I need something and, you know, for things to change, you need to make change. So I got started and, you know, put the fears aside and it was literally the greatest decision that I feel I'll say besides my husband and my son, <laughs> I better throw that in there, um, that I feel like I've made because I, I, um, I really hand on heart believe that this has gotten me through lockdown. I really, my, I've built a business in lockdown and while other businesses, um, and it is where a huge passion of mine, you know, it's ignited so much more because I know that what we get to do gets to help people who are truly, truly suffering, whether it's with their health or their wealth right now, right? Um, but, you know, this has gotten me through, you know, I've been able to build something that I can do around my son. And what I love about that is I absolutely know, hopefully we're blessed with more kids, right? And I love the fact that I can still contribute and I can still have something for me, just for me, that I can still do when I have more kids and not have to give it all up again because I really truly did struggle with that shift in that identity and losing myself after I had him so knowing that I don't have to go through that again um, and can take that step back but still have a thriving business and create an income while I'm doing that just gets me so excited so you know I have been able to turn this into something where I haven't been able to I haven't had to go back to work um, and I have been able to stay home and I'm Honestly, you know, I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, and I'm really excited to see, you know, the growth and, um, you know, to be able to help and support and help other women step into their greatness is something that truly, you know, just truly lights me up. So thank you for having me share tonight, Erin, and I'll hand it back to you. Oh my goodness. I'm like taking myself off mute and just going, oh, I listened to your story and it is absolutely incredible to listen to. Hang on, I need to, um, that's that cheeky, I need to remove that before. Hang on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Technological difficulties are just hitting me right now. Um, I can hear my, um, children playing up in the room next to me and going, ah, this is why we love this business because we can do it completely around our children, chucking a spaz. <laughs> um, I love listening to you, Kirsty, and this is why you sort of inspired me to obviously join this community because I was sort of the same as you, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, as most people obviously experienced coming through 2020, it was a pretty crappy year for a lot of us. Um, I felt very trapped. I felt very unhealthy. I felt very un uninspired every single day and waking up and having to do the same sort of thing every single day, going through lockdowns and dealing with children was just really hard. Um, the stress and the struggles of that really hit me hard. My anxiety was absolutely through the roof um, and the bad habits of unhealthy eating and too many wines of a night time and obviously the no exercise was really starting to take its toll for me. Um, basically earlier this year, as far as my story is concerned, I hit a point where I was at my heaviest. Um, I was 102 kilos. Um, I was on the verge of needing medication for my anxiety and my GP had even hit the point of saying that I was entering perimenopause. 
Um, now, at the time, I was 34 years old. Most people, when they start to hit that sort of, um, you know, menopausal age, they're sort of 45 to 50. Um, so for me, that was a huge wake up call for me. Um, obviously, what I was doing through lockdown with my eating um, and my habits of not exercising and um, the poor choices I was making was really starting to take a toll on um, myself um, as a whole. So I knew I had to do something about that. Um, it scared the heck out of me. And basically, I turned around and said, 2021 has to be my year. I have to do something to make myself healthier, happier, um, a better wife a better mother for my boys and a better person for myself as a whole. And that's where it started for me was um, doing this for myself so I could be better for me and then I could be better for everybody else. So basically I joined my first six week challenge. I followed the guides. I loved the food. I did my workouts. I did my mindset coaching. And at the end of that first six week challenge, I'd lost 12 and a half kilos, 34 centimeters of my entire body. And my mindset was stronger than it has ever been before in my life. And I'm really excited because I can tell you, I won that six week challenge. Um, so basically I transformed my entire life in the blink of an eye, because that's basically what it is. Six weeks isn't a lot to do this in. Um, the results are real and the program and the products are still having such an epic result on not my, only myself now, but my family. And I can honestly say now that there is a day that I won't stop doing this and neither will they. Which leads me to why I said yes to becoming a business partner. Um, for me, like I said earlier tonight, this opportunity has allowed me the experience to learn and grow and actually make this the, the, the business and the income that I wanted it to be. I was looking at the other side of obviously going back to a full-time job when my twins started school. I said, I've been lucky to be a, a stay-at-home mum for this period of time, but it's time to do something for me and obviously step back into the workforce. But for me, it was scary to be able to do that because obviously my, um, my skills um, in the corporate world have obviously dwindled over the last six to six and a half to seven years. And I didn't really identify with that person that I used to be. So I wanted something that was going to bring me back out and obviously allow me to be the person that I wanted to be. So basically this, this opportunity has allowed me to be a working mum again while I get to stay at home with my boys. I get to create um, an impact. I get to have this passion and purpose and connection and I get to create an income out of it which, I mean, obviously I love to be able to do and I want to be able to share that with everybody else around me as well. Um, so basically, if anything that, you know, I've said tonight or if anybody else has said tonight has resonated with you, um, I would definitely encourage you guys to reach out to the ambassador who has shared, um, obviously, the event with you tonight. They'll run through with you how the business vehicle operates um, and obviously how you can change your, your basic craving into a connection. Um, we can obviously support you and guide you um, and direct you through obviously the processes of that. Um, what I love about this and what my mentor obviously said to me from day one is that we're a blessing in this business no matter how small or big we are, no matter how little we do or how much we do. And that's absolutely amazing. Um, so since some people obviously join for the social element uh, which I started off with. And then I started to obviously crave the community um, and get a little bit healthier. And what I love now is that I'm able to create an income out of this part-time hustle, um, this, you know, little income on the side and bring this into something that's obviously going to be bigger for myself and my family. Um, and at the end of the day, I would love to be able to bring this into a full-time income that, um, you know, sees me being at home with my boys and my family and not ha actually having to go back to that conventional nine to five job, which is obviously what, you know, Mari was talking about earlier this evening as well. So um, if you're looking for something different, if you're looking for a connection, if you're looking for a community, if you're looking for a side hustle um, in lockdown, we're obviously feeling it at the moment. Um, and if you're a little bit, you know, capped with what you're doing, I definitely encourage you to reach out to everybody um, that has spoken tonight, the people that have invited you to look at this, 
Um, we're all willing to obviously answer any questions that you might have. Um, and we obviously love being able to welcome people into our community and raise them up, reach their goals and dreams. And I thank you guys, obviously, for joining me this evening. Thank you to Kirsty and to Vicky and Kane and Tamara for joining me this evening. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody else for joining and watching along this evening. I hope you have a really, really awesome evening. And um, we will look and speak to you soon and hopefully chat soon. So thank you.